<laughs> yes. We're out here today at Secret Garage Seo in Ibaragi with the lovely Mount Scuba in the background. And not so lovely, we're here to look at uh, my Skyline. So this is my R32 GTST Skyline drift car that used to live at Ebershoe Circuit and we brought it back here with Mr. Seo. And he's, uh, <laughs> we're putting the Secret Garage Seo sticker on. First thing, uh, because it's gonna live here from now on and we're gonna make it look pretty. So if you don't know about much about this car, the story behind this is it used to be my practice car at Ebushu Circuit where I kept it for quite a while. I originally bought it just as a practice car, like a whatever. This is back in the day when Skylines were cheap and now they're expensive. So it would make sense to make this clean uh, once again. So this is where it all starts all over again. So we rescued it from Ebushu Circuit, brought it here because Mr. Seo loves Skylines, he knows Skylines, he likes RB20. We think alike about a lot of stuff, especially when it comes to these cars. So um, that's why I'm gonna rely on him to help me rebuild this car. As you can see, it's buried all the way up the back here with all the junk. Uh, he has a lot of parts cars here that he uses for his customers, as you can see, lots of Skylines. And uh, yeah, then there's this. And I just sort of came out today to sort of remind myself what kind of state it's uh, in. Okay. So one of the things about this sticker is, you know, normally the logo would be in a straight line. Well, he made it wavy like this on purpose, so it would take up as much space as possible. So no other uh, stickers could be close to it. That's his uh, idea anyway. RB Inochi. So like I've uh, explained before, this logo, it looks like the symbol for uh, Inochi there, like a life spirit. So RB life, and the logo looks a little bit like this symbol here looks a bit, a bit like RB, like that. So we're gonna put one of these on, because I'm getting back into the RB life now with this car. I can already start by taking this tape off. That's where the last Matsuri sticker was stuck. <laughs> yeah, the last time this car drove was at an Ebisu Matsuri, and it ended very early by blowing the turbo and unfortunately I had lots of friends there who I wanted to take out for rides, but I couldn't do it. It was uh, kind of upsetting. It was kind of the last nail in the coffin for this car because it lived up at Ebisu Circuit and any kind of maintenance I had to, had to do to the car, I had to do in the pits at Ebisu. RB Life at Secret Garage. This is where it uh, starts all over again. This <laughs> <laughs> so that was sort of one of the other original plans was to drive this car at the RB meeting at Nico Circuit as well, but uh, yeah, didn't make it. I was there, but uh, the car wasn't. Okay. All right, so let's have a bit of a look at the car and sort of remind us of what state this is in. If you want to cop a sticker, or a shirt, what's wrong with it right now? Uh, apart from the turbo being blown, it ran fine. Uh, the clutch was a little bit funny, but the rest of the car was okay. But it just sort of got to the point where there was so much stuff on this that needed, you know, just to be looked at and looked after. And, you know, I'd have to go up to Ebisu Circuit, spend a whole day, oh, the bird's nest is still there. Like I'd spend whole days just working on the car instead of driving it, and it's like a four hour drive from Tokyo, so. I uh, thought, look, just get it done once and for all because there's a workshop over there that we can work on the car in and uh, fix it back up again. All right, missing a seat because that was the seat I had in the JZX100, which unfortunately no longer exists. It caught fire and burned along with the car. Uh, no, it still smells the same as it always did. And look at all these spare, actually I should take these home. Luckily it's not too moldy. Oh yeah, that's right, I've got this. I forgot about this. That is a mines boost meter. That's always been in there, I've but I've never used it. Uh, that's the water gauge that doesn't work. And 
that's it. That's all there is, really. But it's good. It's not. Uh, there's no water getting into it, and it's not too moldy, so that's good. I'm sort of worried about the dashboard, whether it's got a bump yet from being out in the sun. It doesn't. Dashboard is still clean. No, I don't know. That's the problem. Right? Now, here's something else I want to show you that I've had this entire time uh, and never used. Group M no. Hold on. Full carbon. So, so I've had this for this whole time and never, never used it. So I might, I might uh, use that in the next. But any, but any What else we got in here? That's the adapter. Some other stuff. What's this? That's for the gearbox. I've never installed that either. Tire no? Tire yo jana ito mo yo. Ah, the wipers. ないよ。多分持ってた。あ、分かった。これがエビスに置いてるから、なんかワイパーがすぐダメになっちゃうでしょ。ゴムだけない。いや、いや、だから雨の時だけつける。間違ってやったら傷ついちゃう。そうだ
which direction it goes, I don't know. I might be asking you, know, you guys, what do you think? I might put out a few concepts and say, like, you know, do you want to make it look like, do we want it to look like, uh, you know, one of Seo's cars, like with the 16 inch wheels, sort of a retro street sort of style, or do we want to go like a sort of a mid 90s, you know, touring car look, or should we just keep it the, the silver and black like this? Okay, I change it. ロクスロ。ロクスロ。ロクスロ。ロクスロ。ロクスロ。ロクスロ。ロクスロ。ロクスロ。ロクスロ。ロクスロ。ロクスロ。ロクスロ。ロクスロ。ロクスロ。ロ